nemesis is coming, only God can save you. Primates are your daily want to noble of consequences. <laughs> Nigerians, this man has come again. No, I no say he don't say when he they talk about what will happen in Nigeria, about the consequences of all these things that have been going on. You understand? He don't come warn the president once again. If you not hear this one, say, this one again, you go even tire. You understand? Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Primate Elisha Ayodele, the leader of the Irish Evangelical Spiritual Church, issued a cautionary message to Bola Metinubu about his future. In a statement delivered by his media aide Osho, Ayodele shared his vision of impending consequences for Tinubu based on his past actions. According to Ayodele, Tinubu had sold undesirable seed in the past that are now reaching uh, fruition. It seems that Ayodele's warning stems from a belief that Tinubu's past actions will catch up with him, potentially resulting in a similar power struggle. He had facilitated in the past. The message serves as a cautionary tale, urging Tinubu to be aware of the potential consequences of his actions. The spiritual leader of Eric Evangelical Spiritual Church further elaborated that Tinubu's political career involved taking power from certain leaders, and now a similar fate may befall him unless he received divine mercy. Ayodele's foresight suggests that Nemesis may be closing in on the politician due to his past activities. So, guys, you've heard it now. Primates Elisha Ayodele, the leader of the Iron Evangelical Spiritual Church, issued a cautionary message to Bola Mertinobo about his future. In a statement delivered by his media aide, Ayodele shared his visions of impending consequences for Tinobo based on his past actions. According to Ayodele, Tinobo had sowed undesirable seeds in the past that are now reaching fruition. It seems that Ayodele's warning stems from a belief that Tinubu's past actions will catch up with him, potentially, resulting in a similar power struggle he had facilita facilitated in the past. The message serves as a cautionary tale, urging Tinubu to be aware of the potential consequences of his actions. The spiritual leader further elaborated that Tinubu's political career involved taking power from certain leaders and now a similar fate may befall him unless he received divine mercy. Ayodele foresight suggests that Nemesis may be closely closing in on the politician due to his past activities. If you can recall, um, concerning the 2023 presidential election that took place in February February 25th in Nigeria. The outcome of the 2023 presidential election in Nigeria, majority of people have expressed a high level of disappointment over the outcome of the election that produced Bola Metinubu as the Nigerian president-elect and now the Nigerian president. Different people in Nigeria has blamed the chairman of INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, for failing to fulfill the promises he made to the citizens of Nigeria before the election. And some persons also cited Tinubu is not constitu constitutionally fit to become Nigerian's president, like the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter will be. Atiku Abubakar, the PDP presidential candidates, you know, they filed 
you know, a case before the presidential election petition court. They talked about Tunubu involving in drug trafficking, you know, years ago, even which he forfeited some amount of dollars of, you know, hundred thousand, uh, uh, thousands of dollars to the U.S. government and all that. And they cited that such a person is not fit to, to be Nigerian president and all that. And people also talked about how the election was rigged. The Labour Party presidential candidate said he was rigged out. That Bola Ahmed Tunubu did not win the election. According to him, he said his mandate was stolen. You know, that the INEC chairman uh, rigged the election in the favor of Bola Ahmed Tunubu. And this had become very, very controversial in Nigeria since Bola Ahmed Tunubu assumed office as the Nigerian president. As so many persons are still rejecting him even up to now, saying that that was the uh, Bola Metunubu is not what they bargained for. That INEC gave them different things, you understand? Not what they bargained for, they got from INEC. They are still saying it, you understand? Some persons will still tell you, majority of Nigerians will tell you that um, until the president returned the mandate, you know, to the rightful owner, there will never be peace in Nigeria. You can imagine. So all these things had been, you know, flying around. Now the, the case is already in the court. So Nigerians are eagerly waiting to see what is going to be the end of all this wahala. You understand? Because it's only the court that will settle this matter. Who actually won the 2023 presidential election? Is it PDP? Presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar? Is it Bola Metunubu? Of the APC presidential candidate, or is it Labour Party? Peter will be of the Labour Party, uh, or, or uh, Labour uh, or presidential candidate. Please pardon me. So, guys, I'm dropping it. Uh, kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.